Is it working? Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to some more shadows over loading over here. So uh, we're going to have a new shop over here soon with pants. That should be interesting. We uh, have finished the... Um, our quest with the pocket watch which we have now equipped and it looks pretty good I, I'm not gonna lie so uh, yeah that being said before we go to sleep and start our next chapter 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 uh, let's check out this hobo camp over here Found an extremely bought by a huge pile of junk, a broken down car, a bustling lamppost, a couch with the springs poking out of it, and a wide variety of other sorted trash. What happened over here? And as a memory, there was an accident a couple of weeks ago that the car had a tire break and smashed to the lamppost. Explains the car and the lamppost, but why are they still here? And also with this all the other junk. City trash takeaways are all contractors now, and who wanted to pay for it? Nobody. So the car waits here, and people put jump junk there because that's a place where junk is guess we'll go around it not in that street that's dangerous look at that lamppost for what the car can do well sure but the traffic isn't bad right now and hey it's not any problem here it's not any problem starts picking up the junk stacking it out of the way cleaning a path through the middle of the pile that's gabby but that's not really how hey the mighty shot of gabby knocks the red car over to the side and wrestles it the rest is into a parking spot. Damn, Gabby, be strong. Gabby sure showed that car where the car goes. Woo, Gabby's muscles increase. When thick things doesn't work out, we could get the job threatening to park people's cars for them. Nice. All right, what do we have here? It's Howie. I hope you met in that box car last night. Hey, Howie, how's it going? Hi, isn't it Zach Pons? Nice to see you again. Looks like that rumor you heard about a hobo count turned out to be on the level. All hobo code is pretty trustworthy, as a general rule. Pretty good on that harmonica, Howie. Wanna know my secret? Sure. Have only one hobby and all the time in the world to practice it. That is true. That can help. Hey, we got warm hands. Plus three cold armor. Oh my god, we can go into the refrigerator part now. Nice. The state of washerboard induced ecstasy. I'm really going down on that washerboard. Yep, I love fast Takato rhythm it makes. It's pretty good. Someday there will be a fancy electrical machines that that'll do it really good. Till then though, folks call me washi by the way. You mean guitars. Electrical guitars, yeah. Hi, Washi, I'm Zach Fons. Actually, I got nothing to ask. Sorry about that. Hey, no problem. Shoot these box cards. I shouldn't mess around here. You'll wake people up. Okay, sorry. Oh my god, this place is stacked. Supply chain difficulties. The grub car is currently by. Our condiments are still available to camp residents. Ample condiments, but you don't feel like taking any. Yeah, it's stealing from the hobos. Really jazzing up the place. Howdy, they call me 52 Tate Thompson, or just 52 for short. Is that because the 52 keys on the piano? Nope. Uh, uh, it's lucky that they happened to find a piano for the camp. Oh, I brought this baby with me. On foot? How? Well, it took a few trips. <laughs> <laughs> Just carry an entire piano. I, I guess you could disassemble it and carry it with you. Doesn't seem to be a lot to do around here. Hi there, Dusty, right? That's me. And you were Zach Pons? Got it in one. Hey, how are you keeping up, friend? Oh, no complaints. That would make any sense to describe. How are you liking the camp? It's real nice. Everyone's real personable, even if most of them are a bit quirky. Thinking of getting a poker game together. Can't find any f anyone with a full deck. Hmm. And it's Gus. That was Zephons, I believe it was. That's right. Always a pleasure to have another run in with a friendly acquaintance. It's nice that the rain cleared up. It is nice. I do enjoy the rain, but I do also enjoy dry clothing. The kind of guy that's comfortable with any sort of weather, huh? Yes, I do my best. Can't stop a rain cloud by crying, after all. And in fact, when you get right down to it, pretty much anything that happens to a person can be considered weather of sort. It's real philosophical. My guy! 
He is going places. Olga says, if you can't find pleasure in any circumstances, then you'll never be a... If you can't find the pleasure in any circumstance, then you'll never be a sufferer of misfortune. I mean, technically true, but... Cryptography? Hello? It goes on the music. I haven't seen on this in ages, whatever it is. It's a it's it's a Morse code player. Seems to have music coming out of it. Yes, it's a jukebox. Slipping through a worn book, occasionally stopping to check strange machines next to him and pencil some notes in the margins. Hmm. Radio. These guys are equipped, man. Hi there. Oh, hello. You must be new here. I don't think I've seen you bef around here before. Yeah, my name is Alphonse. Pleased to meet you. I'm Letters McCabe. Is there anything I can assist you with? Why do they call you Letters? Expert in microcryptography. Microcryptography. Like a hobo code. Are you familiar with it? No, what's that? A system of pictographic elements that can be written unobtrusively on walls or caved into fence posts, etc. Usually we use by hobos to leave messages for other hobos to mark a house where the occupants are charitable, for instance, or to warn of a vicious guard dog, that sort of thing. Or in expanding the system for more general communication purposes. It's pretty interesting. What's the book you're reading? It's the Hobo Code Manual. I can teach you the basics if you'd like. Yeah, that sounds useful. We saw a couple of signs like that, so... Or the basic of hobo code in letters. If you'd like to know more, just ask the hobo any hobos you meet. They're honor bound to assist new learners. That's the hobo hobo code code. Hobo hobo code code. Oh my god. Hobo literacy. Uh, what's with all the stuff in the room? Stuff is a little overboard for a topic for conversation. Feel free to point any particular object you want me you want to ask me about, and I'm happy to be informative. This. Old naval radio en encryption graph from the Cola Wars. I'm trying to modify it with a hobo code. That sounds hard. It wasn't designed to handle a pictographic writing system, that's for certain. But if I can get it to work, it should be very secure. It's a ham radio. What's it for? Listening to stuff about ham. It's in this old shoe box. Old shoes. You're welcome to them. Ah, oh, nice. What kind of shoes are these? Heavy boots. Hand-me-down boots. They've been passed from hobo to hobo for a generation. Probably about 50 pounds of metals and reinforcements by now. Jesus. Weigh your feet down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, this is, this is like trying to do the funny walking from the previous game. Oh, it's brilliant. This contraption, that's just a radio. It's, it's not really, but... What's all these books? Manual for various types of codes and ciphers. Vig Viginaire before. Treatise on several variations of columnar transposition. The classical Mormon jigsaw. I mean, German mix-up code and so on. There's a few books on old pictographic language in there too. Fascinating stuff. It's all Greek to me. It's a tele teletype machine that we salvaged when they shut down the local post office branches for cutbacks. Patched it in a local telegraph network so we can communicate with some other public communities. Some heavy duty equipment. Well, yeah, well, I'm not uh, at liberty to discuss it in detail, you understand, but secure lines of commission are going to be quite important if Johnny plans come and come to fruition. Well, now I'm intrigued. You'll have to talk with him about it yourself. Say, letters, what's with this poster? Learn general purpose hobo code glyphs I'm working on. It's a bunch of them that are blacked out, though. Yeah, well, they're still experimental, so I decided it would be wise to take some precautions. And the notebooks? 
All my notes on hobo code, more notes on codes and language in general, as well as my studies on radio, telemetry, telegraphy, and telephony. I think my aunts receive bookies in there somewhere. You write all these in code? I can't make out a single word. Uh, no, that's just my <laughs> handwriting. Ah. Uh, hi. Letters. Pleased to meet you. My handwriting is trash as well. Thanks a lot, though. Oh, that was certainly very interesting. Alright, that was funny. Yeah, I'm going to walk like this for the rest of the thing. Can understand some hobo glyphs. Good. Oh there. Well. Hey there, dearie. I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Veronica. Zach Vons. Can I offer you a cup of tea? It's a homegrown, so to speak. Have tea leaves around here? Just about any leaves can be tea leaves with the right attitude. I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, true, but yeah. I like your hat. Thank you. I grew it myself. The flowers? The whole thing? It's trying to grow some socks as well. I'm trying to grow some socks as well, but they're much trickier. Can imagine. Can you teach me any hobo code? Certainly, dear. In fact, I think I still have my nose from when I was learning it myself. Huh. Hobo knowledge increased. Nice. We're gonna learn all the hobo. Level 2 student. Hey, don't touch that telephone. Royal use only. This telephone is actually connected to anything. Don't let it hear you say that. <laughs> Jesus. Head made of tinfoil crown. It must be Hobo King. The crown gave it away, I presume? Yep. You're absolutely correct. I am the Hobo King, though. To foster a uh, more familiar area, I permit my subject to call me Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. I'm Zach Fons. What can I do for you, Jack Fons? Question. Where are you from? Hoboken. Of course you are. Did I say you were working on some kind of secret pal? Or did he? He wouldn't say what it was, though. Certainly not. That information is mine alone to divulge. So will you divulge? Practically a stranger here. I apologize, but I cannot jeopardize operational security. Damn, guy, he's got his OPSEC tight. You can teach me some hobo code? Ah, yes, according to hobo code, code, code. The hobo, hobo code, code. I'm, of course, obliged to assist, but first, let me test you. And convince me of your worthiness, and I'll grant you a boon. You witch. You want to give me a boon. You believe it to be in your interest. Trying to hypnotize me, that won't work. My crown is made of tinfoil. Darn! Good effort, though. I don't know how you got your eyes to go all swirly like that, but that is impressive. I'll grant you the boon anyway. Great! And tinfoil hack. That's actually work. What's this? This is a hobo code symbol for boon. My favorite jokes. Wish I could use it more often. <laughs> Thanks. You... Uh, can you teach me some hobo code? Students of letters and of letters, I'll be glad to help. Nice. Hobo code! Did you give you the lure down the code? Sure, I can teach you a character or two. Nice. We are definitely learning it. Teaching you the lingo, well, sure, I still owe you one for dealing with that rail ball. Laurel ba ball. I think I'll hunker down here and I'll show what I know. Nice! Hobo code? This one means Apregio, and these two pointy ones, Crescendo and Descendo, and this one is Treble Clef. Right. As expected. Hobo code! I know the word washboard, and uh, some words that kind of describe the sound of washboard maze, but they aren't really useful actual words. Thanks! Ah, I can't learn the hobo code from him. Level 8 hobo student. Alright, well, let's go to the fridge factory first, because now we can go into that place, and uh, then we'll go to sleep, I guess. So, Crawling street tough. Though in the alley, challenge is passer by to armor herself for the alley king. Ah, leave the king for his throne today. It is brilliant. Free flower growing out of this 
patch of frosty industrial waste. It's probably a metaphor for something you don't understand. Rim with frost, but they rhyme with carols. Okay. What? Huh? Miscellaneous chemicals. It's leaving you cold. You could always leave. Hmm. And refrigeration coil. Okay. Can we do anything with those? Fancy combat items. Ooh. Physical damage to all enemies. A nuclear bomb. Any material inside a regular bomb to make a special kind of nuclear bomb. We just invented the nuclear bomb, huh? Another fancy combat item. Ice bomb. Sweet. Alright. It's good enough for now. Candy out of her purse, toss it in her mouth, and holds the purse out to you. Want one? Sure, thanks. Purse is entirely filled with saltwater taffy. Yeah, it's Gabby's favorite. It hears somewhere that goblins process sugar really effic effic effectively and don't need as many vitamins as humans. Haha, uh -huh. jealous? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I wish I could process unlimited sugar. I'm not gonna get tired of this. Alright, let's see what we're gonna dream tonight. Oh dear, that's on fire. Hitful dream. All your favorite pants, gone. Jeff, the kid who used to bully you in third grade. Make amends. Just know our feelings, okay? I understand the rest of that you must have had problems at home, and I just want you to know everything is okay now. Overdue library book out of your hands. Ah, I see. Since this is just a dream version of you, you're still as much of a jerk as you were in third grade. Punches you knocking out, out all of your teeth. If this was actually happening, I'd be really mad. Pick up your teeth and walk away. Jesus. Creepy Crimbo lady from the refrigerator now in a real nightmare form. Need to get past you. Why? Are you in a hurry to wake up, darling? It's Crim darling, it's Crimbo. You should be making merry. Crimbo is still months away. Oh, but it's always Crimbo in dear dreams, dear. Merry Crimbo then. Merry Crimbo, dearie. Have time to properly introduce myself. I'm Dark Noel. Affectionate as goofy as her name. In an affectation as goofy as her name, she courtesies. Dark Noel, huh? You're really taking this motif seriously, right down to your weird evil looking Crimbo hat. Your smile falters a little. Evil looking? I told you the refrigerator factory, it's just a wait. Weird device she's holding at her hat. Starts beeping in a fast, irregular pattern. Telling me that you can see the special Crimbo magic with your eyes? Yes, if that's what it is. This is decidedly on festive news. I'd better talk to the president. You want to talk to Calvin Coolidge about your Crimbo hat? Talk to the real president about you. I see. Yes, that's a problem, dear. And you'll see... And I'll see you soon with the solution. That is indeed very ominous. And the inventory during a dream. What's up? Good. Very good timing with the spooky dream we're in. During a dream is if you had con convinced Freddy to hold it for you at the exact moment you went to sleep. I did that though. No, you didn't. I did. I asked Freddy to hold my, my stuff and he said yes. You don't even know Freddy. Fine, you caught me. Damn it! Ah! It's not behaving the way bookshelves do when you're awake. Melting mind. Hmm. Is that everything around here? Well, that was pretty quick at least. Uh, um, uh, hello? Man in an expensive suit is standing at the foot of your bed. Who the f who the what the heck who are you? You may call me Don Toblerone. I represent a certain organization of shall we say like minded criminals. Organized criminals, like the mob? Wait, you're the Don of the local mob? The mob boss in my room, personally. 
No, 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 I'm not the Don. That is merely my nomenclature. It's an abbreviation of Don. Donald. <laughs> well, that's definitely confusing. Has been a matter of some confu confuscation, yes. I do have a sobriquet, but I don't care for it very much. What is it? Donitesaurus. I hazard a guess that they call you that because you like long words. It's very astute of you. Of course, this substitution comes as no surprise to me. My associators tell me you handled yourself well during the conflagration at the refrigerator manufactorium. I handle myself well all the time. I'm here to propound it for your considerationing a certain proposition. Come again. I'm here to make you an offer you can't refuse. Can I refuse it? Certainly, though your refusation would be, shall we say, unadvisory. What's the offer? For the time being, my collegiate and I have certain requirements, but lack necessity manpower to achieve them. Such junctures, we make lucrative arrangements with certain capable individualists. We find ourselves at this moment at the juncture, such as the junctures I have thus obscribed. So you want me to do contract work from the mob? Exactingly. Can I think about it and get back to you? I require your responsibility with immediate. Okay, sure, fuck it, why not? Excellent decision, if I may articulate articulate as such. What happens now? Sit tight, as they say, we'll call upon you telephonically. Huh. Drinks three or four times for him to work the latch. <laughs> Alright then. So what the fuck did we get? Hold on, we went into the dream and we got your teeth. Let's take your teeth, you can tell by the scar on the upper left second bit, but your teeth are also still definitely in your gums where they belong. That is very weird. Avant-garde, combat skill, mind melt. Physicality to itself in damage. Measure of your ranged weapon attacks. Huh. I don't have the experience to get to that itself in hot damage. So it's good if we have an enemy that has like high mysticality but low hot defense. How oh, did you sleep? Fine until a mob guy crawled in my bedroom window. Oh yeah, that window is pretty lousy. Anyway, the next antique I need you to find is a compass. The directions, directions kind, not the circles kind. Ah, right. Detectatron says it's out near the Crystal Dream Lake. No where that is, but I bet it's not too f too far to walk. Do you have a car I can borrow? No, but I have something better than that. Two cars? A bus pass! Stop out front is your gateway to a whole wide adventure. Swell, thanks. Couldn't get more specific reading the near lake. Something about the place is making this go all screwy. Here, take this map. Ah, we got the new location. This is a postcard. It has a map of the lake on it. It has a picture of the lake on it. Yeah, that's what the map is. A picture of a place. Can't argue with that logic. Called on T. Oh god. With who? Whom is telephoning my tank car? Hello, it's me, Zach Fons. Ah, you reciprocated my missive. Commendable. Yeah, what's up? There is an assignment of which I require performation. I hate this fucking language, holy shit. I, the comedic sort, I might refer to it as an undertaking. I'm glad you aren't the comedic sort. Antiquated distillery in Il Crystal Dream Lake. Well, how about that? We were going there. Grandpa's Joe Distillery, to be precocious. It was abandoned when prohibitioning began, albeit with its manufacturing equipment still intact. Well, contraposite, contraposite to our own as claim it as their territory and wish, wish these bloodsuckers to be evicticated with extreme prejudice. So you want me to give a bombs rush to a bunch of rival mob goons? There's no underground criminal organization that rivals our own in this vicinity. When I say bloodsuckers, it is my intention that you will observe in this phraseology a high degree of literalness. The group of, to which I refer reference are Nosferatu. What? Nosferatu, Langsir, Strigoi, Draculas, Vampires, Vampires, okay, I get it. 
telling me there are actual vampires in this part of Roll. Formative, they have been a pain in our necks for quite an extensive period of time. Quite literally. Grav inadvertently voiced another witticism. I didn't notice. I'll take care of your vampires, I guess it isn't that much real, weir weirder than the fishmen. Where is the, this distillery? Locations, Grand Pastures Distillery. Additionally to that, you will be requisitioning the combination for the lock. Let me guess, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Certainly not. Kind of allow us to credit for a modicum of cooperation. So securitizing, we selected the most unassailable combination possible. 9999. Of course. Alright. Let me quickly check the new shop. Yeah, we have pants. A blonde flapper cracks her chewing gum, then gives you a sharky green and a little wave. Hey there, big boy, you're Zach Falls Lopez. Right? Who's asking? Look at you being all tough and mysterious. Well, Molly Button is who's asking, Buck, and I do like games, but don't push your luck with me. Okay, you got me, so how do you know my name? The boss sent me to lend you a hand, and to keep an eye on you, Savvy. You know... What? Hey now, I put in my two weeks notice before I left Pooks. Poke keeps it fair and square. Uh, no, not that boss, you palooka. The boss. You know. Then he sees all of you. The mob boss. Oh, that boss. Sheesh, I can't tell if you got a screw loose or if you just funny, funny in with me. I like to keep people guessing. So what, you're supposed to partner up with me? As the deal, Mc McNeil. And do what? That's 20 something girl like you doing working for the mob anyway. I ain't just a pretty face. She pulls a Tommy gun with full size drum magazine from behind her back, gives it a flip in the air, and catches it with the mad glittering eyes. Jesus, she's packed! Put that away before someone sees it. Tee hee! Creeps, you have to whisper the boss, but you're fine with waving a machine gun around in public. So we're teaming up or what? Well, it's got room for a gun-toting cutie pie. Sorry, city, but that ain't how it this works. One of those offers. Oh, I pressed something wrong. Well, yes and no, yes and no. You can't refuse it, but no, it ain't an offer. It's just something that's happening whether you like it or not. All right, fine. Want to, I should come with you right now or cool my heels and noblesse for a while? Come with me right now. Okay, you have it. Alright, yeah, let's hit the bricks. Nice. Uh, I guess we'll do the check-in next episode because it's getting pretty long already. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for uh, this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. And I'll see you next time we're going to make. Yeah, stopped working. Bye-bye.